Hello, uh, it's uh, Peter from Record again. Um, so on our 305 now, what we're looking to do is to take the spindle out. So um, we, could, if we needed to, we could change some bearings. Um, on this machine, we've got an index position. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, release the switch and get inside and undo the screw that holds the collar for the indexing. Uh, before I do that, I've unplugged the machine and I've tied the cable up together just to make it tidy and just to keep it out of the way. Um, so first off, I'll leave it in the index position. I'll just take the three screws out that hold it in actual um, switch body on. So there's a little bit of a fiddle getting inside because you have to take the screw and release it so the, the yeah, collar can um, rotate. I'll drop the cover down at the back here. And what I should do afterwards as well is take this cover off completely out of the way. It just give me better access and also less likely that it's going to get broken or anything and just be in the way so the next step is to take your drive belt off pop that out of the way that side and this switch is going to get in the way it's hanging about so if you've got a rubber band or a bit of string or something, that should help it keep it out of the way a little bit. I need to firm the screw inside. That's there. And this one, I'm going to need to undo that. Slapping that right off, and you should be able to move the collar then. And then remove that with a 14mm spanner. Next step, really, is to move this round. So I want to remove this cover now. I've already taken off couple of the screws. If you undo it from the casting, you haven't got to bother with the nuts and everything inside. I'm going to take that off in a minute. So first off is your hand wheel. Ease that one off. And the one on the other side. Should come off. Then you've got your actual pulley itself. Got a grub screw in there. Take that off. Take the grub screw out of the way so we can find the location hole afterwards. And that can come out. And what I might even do is take this shaft out of the way so it just removes it. So if when I'm knocking it out, I'm not going to get the fingers bashed or anything. bits in there. I've got a circle up on there. Again with these things it might come off first time I'm a bit, bit of a fiddle. What I normally do is open it out and, and try and put my nail underneath the side of the circle up so as it, when I've got some opening on there I can pop it off. So basically I'm free now to come out. So if you've got a nylon mallet or something like that, use that. Try not to hit the shaft obviously with um, a, a hammer or anything like that. Use something to go into the shaft if you haven't got a nylon mallet. 
like a screw, maybe put a washer on it so as you can tap it out. Um, and a good tip as well is we're going to be knocking the shaft out and as you get so far out what you don't want to do is bang the shaft out and it just goes and drops on your bed so just put something on your bed just to give it a little bit of protection so you don't end up with a, a lump on your shaft and then it's down to um, brute strength and ignorance so to speak I've got plenty of that so I'm alright so far there. Don't forget you've still got that collar inside and on this one it's a shouldered like sprocket that goes around there and the shoulder is facing towards the bearing so if you're not sure as you're going along you've got your manual and you have a, an exploded um, drawing on there so that's a guide anyway, but what you can do as well is just, um, just get a piece of paper and just draw it off as you take it off or make notes as you take it off so as you've got the um, procedure. And here, anyway, hopefully I've got this video as well. So. to the end of that now. So that's your actual sprocket inside that catches the, um, the indexing position and you've got your fixing um, hole through there. And what you'll find is on the shaft as well, the actual hole itself that you screw into is opposite um, your Tommy bar holes so those are in line or thereabouts so if you want to mark that off as well um, you know where your your actual fixing hole is for when we put it back in into the actual um, body again So now I've got one bearing inside and one bearing outside. So what I could do with then is to remove those out. And I've got a bolt with a washer on. So what I can do is poke that up against there. Keep some weight on that. And just to protect my bed again, just put a bit of timber over. And that one shot out. Got the same again for the back one. A little bit of a fiddle. I mean, if the bearing is no good, what you can do is just stick a shaft through and, and knock it out. A longer shaft. I'm a bit happy ended now. But I should be able to do it. It's coming nicely. Just try and keep it in the centre. Blasted across the room. Okay, that's our bearings out. Also, what you are finding there as well is you've got a little spring wavy washer. 
and that sits between the circlip in there and the bearing face and that's just to put a like when you got the um, circlip on there it just puts a little bit of kind of pressure on there, a little bit of preload on there so that sits up against that circlip in there and you put the bearing up to it then keep hold of that so what I want to do now is I'll have to knock this other bearing off and also clean out my castings as well So why I've got it like this I'll just give this a little bit of a degrease in here Again if you've got any of these uh, scratch pads they're really useful I'll just clean up in the bore taking anything else, I'm just cleaning it up, just cleaning the, the, the casting out itself. It's all nice and clean and there's no sharp edges in there. Just be, be careful inside of there because that's been machined through so just be careful rubbing your finger around there. This area we've just cleaned up so that should be nice and smooth. That's just cleaned all the uh, cast iron dirt out of it. So what I want to do now is I'm going to clean the shaft up and then I'll get ready to, I'll take this other bearing off and then um, I'll get ready to put them back together for you and uh, we'll catch up on that um, as a reverse assembly so that will follow shortly cheers for now